director of Tulane's Law School and does a lot of work for us over at NFL Network. You can follow him on Twitter at at sports law guy. And I guess if there's winners and losers, Gabe, on a daily basis in the courtroom, how would you term the, the winner today? Uh, I'm going to give you an unsatisfying answer. I think they were both losers just because they're in court. Um, superficially, the judge asked the NFL much tougher questions, just like he did last week. But I wouldn't read too much into that. I think that's kind of par for the course when you have the league making the broad argument that they can do with essentially whatever they want, and the Players Association trying to poke holes in that argument. So I don't know if there are any concrete winners or losers. What we do know is that the judge has ordered, unless they settle beforehand, both sides to reappear in court with Tom Brady and Roger Goodell on August 31st. So no settlement, then that's the next time they'll be in court. Now, was there some kind of a dispute? What was the what was the NFLPA bringing up today about uh, witnesses? I heard there was some talk about they were upset that certain people uh, didn't have to give testimony. Yeah, so their, their big argument, and then they have to make some kind of argument like this, is that even though the commissioner has broad power to make these decisions, he has to hold a fair process, has to have a fair hearing. And it was unfair that the NFL didn't allow the Players Association to call Jeff Pash as a witness. Jeff Pash, as a lot of people know, is a high-ranking executive lawyer with the NFL. And he also put his name on the Wells Report, essentially as a co-leader, co-author of the report. The Players Association said, well, if he had something to do with the report, we should be able to ask him questions about what he found and what they put in the report. The NFL said it's not relevant. You can just get all your information from Ted Wells. The Players Association said that's unfair. Judge Berman asked a lot of questions about that and seemed to suggest he was at least willing to consider um, the argument that that was unfair. Each and every day, it seems like we come up with the same question for, for you guys that are studying this thing closely. No resolution today. Uh, when can we anticipate something coming down on this? Well, it depends. If they settle, they can settle up until any point before the judge gives a final ruling. The judge has said that he would probably rule before September 4th, but there's no guarantee of that. Um, so we might get a settlement before that. If not, we'll probably get a ruling right around September 4th. But remember, even after Judge Berman rules, Whoever loses can appeal. And that appeal, this has only taken a couple of weeks, that appeal could take months. It might actually even be decided until the season is over. When's the next time we would see the commissioner or Tom Brady uh, in front of this whole situation? Look, it sounds like, at least in public, it won't be until August 31st, although my guess is that the judge is going to push them to have private settlement talks. They had private settlement talks yesterday that we didn't know about until after the fact. Um, but publicly, we won't see them until August 31st. Well, it's, it's definitely an ongoing saga, 200-something days and uh, not over yet. I appreciate you taking time. You were there inside the, the room there and filling us in with the latest details. That's Gabe Feldman. Uh, thanks for stopping by, Gabe. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.